We've created a couple of intents that we can now use to understand our customers. But of course, we also want to be able to reply to them after they ask this question. So let's do that right now. Go to bot dialogs, open the flows, and add a new bot message. Let's start with who are you? To make sure that the bot can answer the question, who are you? We fill in the bot dialog name. The bot dialog name will not be visible to your customers. Just choose something that matches how your team likes to work. Go to the NLP tab and select the who are you intent. Next, go to the bot message tab, add a text message as we've done before and add an answer there. In this case, we're adding I'm Choo Choo, nice to meet you. Let's create that one and test it by writing who are you in the test your bot window. There we go, the bot gives its right response. We've created a bot dialog and an intent in a matter of minutes. Creating intelligent chatbots doesn't have to be hard. Now let's configure an input validation. Input validations are used to gather some information or data from a customer and use that inside of your chatbot. Click the input validation creation button, give it a name, in this case we'll call it destination, and connect it to the book train ticket intent. Next, let's go to the input validation tab, click the text button and add the question there. In this case, we're asking the customer, where do you want to go? And we're going to save that as the variable destination. Um, a variable in chat layer is something that is remembered for that customer specifically um, while they're talking to the bot. It's a really useful way to capture information about your, your customer that you can use throughout the bot conversation or also send it to external systems. In this case, we're choosing the format type any because there's no fixed format the destination can be. Typically, it will be a city. You can also choose a format type like date or email address if you want to get a specific type of data. Next, we're selecting where the customer goes after they've entered their destination. In this case, we don't have a place to go yet. So we'll be creating a new one called confirm booking. Just type confirm booking into the go to window. Click the create button to save your input validation. Now let's edit the confirm booking bot dialog. We're going to write a text message that says, let's get you that ticket to destination. But of course, we want to fill in that destination with the actual destination that the customer entered. So we're going to be using curly brackets, which is a special character, to trigger that variable inside of chat layer. You can use these variables inside of bot messages, as you can see. One of the great things about input validation is that it only asks the question, in this case regarding the destination, if it doesn't have the information yet. In our previous video, we talked about entities and we configured an intent with an entity destination. So if the customer already says, I want to go to Paris, we don't want to ask the customer again, where do you want to go to? If the entity is correctly detected, the bot will skip the question and just trigger destination as whatever is said by the user inside of that entity. Let's try it out. If the customer says, I want to book a ticket, the bot replies with, where do you want to go? Indicating that it doesn't yet know the destination. Then you can input the destination and that is correctly filled in in the confirm booking bot message. However, if the customer already indicates their destination inside of their expression, the bot will skip the question and immediately go to the confirm booking bot message with the correct destination already filled in, saving customers time and providing better experience.